Hello, this is Clinton McFeely from ICAM Labs. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to select content from your scene in ChemDoodle 3D. To begin this demonstration, I've loaded a caffeine molecule on the left side of the scene and an aspirin molecule on the right side of the scene. The fastest way to select these molecules will be to press the tab key. Pressing the tab key again will toggle to the next molecule present in the scene. Pressing the space bar will deselect any selected content. In general, the lasso and the rectangular marquee are the two selection tools most commonly used in ChemDoodle 3D. They can be used to select atoms and bonds individually or in groups by holding the shift key. By holding alt and then clicking an atom or a bond, you will select the entire molecule. You can also use these selection tools to draw a region of interest by clicking and dragging in the scene, and upon the release of the cursor, any content present within that region will be selected. For the most precise selections, we recommend the selector widget. You'll notice upon launching the selector widget that you have a checkbox for the entire scene, as well as the components that comprise the scene. By hovering your cursor, over any content within the selector widget, you'll notice that there is an amber highlight that occurs over that content in the scene in real time. This is a preview of what you are about to select by clicking on the associated checkbox. Once you click the checkbox, you'll notice that the selection has been made because the highlight will change from amber to blue. To demonstrate the precision of the selector widget, I will select all of the nitrogen atoms present in the caffeine molecule. To begin, I will press the drop down box for the caffeine molecule and then press the drop down box for the atoms. From here, you can see all of the atoms present in caffeine. To complete my task, I will just press the check boxes associated with all of the nitrogens in this molecule. The selector widget is also a fantastic tool for more complex scenes. And to demonstrate this, I will load in a PDB file. You'll notice that this scene is much more complex, with a protein ribbon, two molecules, and an individual zinc atom. The selector widget also has much more going on in this example, because as I just said, there are more components comprising this scene. From here, you can access the individual atoms, molecules, the protein ribbon, and the water residues associated with this PDB file. If you click the drop-down box of the protein ribbon, you'll notice the three-letter code associated with every single amino acid residue present in that protein, and they're also listed in bonding order. If you wanted to perform an edit of, say, this first histidine in the sequence, you would click the drop-down box associated with that residue, and then you would have access to all of the atoms and bonds present within the residue. From here, you can select whichever content you're interested in performing an edit on. This has been Clinton McFeely from iChem Labs. Thank you for your time.